everybody hi guys welcome back to day two of our vegas vacation yeah we have a lot of things <laughs> planned today so come with us on this adventure okay got our masks on we're ready to go by the way we're going to be trying to stay as safe as we possibly can be on this trip we're not going to be near other people. We really didn't get to show you last night, but this is what the hallways in the wind look like. I have a lot of like floral patterns. There's some like, what do you call this? Like a stone art piece. Well, apparently there's a golf course. I had no idea. So wow, cool. I'm totally turned around. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find the parking garage. Kendra thought it was in the opposite direction. I mean, in her defense, you never know where you're going in these casinos. They make it like a maze so you don't, you don't escape. They want you to spend more money. Yeah, no matter how many nights we stay here, I mean, we're only staying one more night, I'm still not gonna know where I'm going. <laughs> it's all the bright colors and the gold to distract you. That's a better look at the temperature check system they have here. So they just monitor everybody going through. I'll say this much, even having this mask on and being, you know, a dozen to two dozen feet away from anybody else in the casino, I can still smell smoke. There's like <laughs> this smoke smell that permeates the casinos. Wow, somebody wrote Vegas baby on my car. <laughs> it was me. Yeah. <laughs> what is our first mission for today? Food. We need to get some food. We're so hungry. Let's go find some good food. I think we've decided to go to this place called Nacho Daddy. It's this restaurant, I guess it's a series of restaurants in Las Vegas. Uh, since 2010, they're known for their margaritas, something called the Scorpion Shot, and their nachos. It, I mean, you know us, we love Mexican food, so how could we pass this up? Plus, they got a patio, so safe dining. I literally did not get the joke of Nacho Daddy until this very second. <laughs> get it? Nacho yeah. Daddy. Yeah, look at that subtle. It's like a Peter joke. I didn't get it until it came out of your mouth. <laughs> now I really want to go here. I want to thank our Patreons. That includes Meg's Quarters Traveling Outpost, Lisa's Life, and Tiffany Lopez. Thanks, guys. Man, we should have gone to the Vanderpump Cocktail Garden at Caesars. What was I thinking? <laughs> I totally forgot that that place existed. And if you guys out there watch Vanderpump Rules, <laughs> or is it just me? I really want to go there. I'm trying to talk Peter into it, but I don't think he's he's gonna allow it. Uh, not this trip. Okay. Candy martinis. The candy martini bar. Should we have gone there? Here's the problem with Vegas. There's so many options. It's such like a sensory overload <laughs> that like I want it all, and I can't have it all. Yeah. But that looks cool. Candy cocktails. Let us know if you guys want to see us come back to Vegas and try all these like crazy food places because that's something I'd like to do eventually. Me too. Okay, so the restaurant we're going to is in the Miracle Mile shops. I think that's like right by Planet Hollywood. So the Miracle Mile shops is kind of like the shopping center that's on the strip. Well, we are looking for Nacho Daddy. Where is that? Good question. I found it. It's right here. All the places in Vegas look good. Like, look at that ketchup burger bar. I want to eat a ketchup burger bar. I'll say this, it might just be because it's a weekday, but this place is empty. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's, it's, I don't know, it's weird being here. You got to stay the length between two casts from the tip of their heads to the tip of their tails. Peter. I think that's like the worst description of how far <laughs> you're supposed to stay away from. Is that really trip. six feet? That doesn't seem like it. I don't know. I'm a fan of that. I approve. <laughs> Jeez. Cookies, I need them. Look at this photo magic place. We can get our like heads put on top of. Look, I could become the casino player gambler of the year. And you could become. <laughs> Why is everything like. Uh. Like sexy pinup models or. Oh, uh, I'll become a, a police officer. <laughs> Perfect. Why is there like a lake? in the middle of this mall. Like, what is going on? Oh, there's a rainstorm show at the top of the hour. What time is it? 
Got about 20 minutes. I'm too hungry to wait for that. Yeah. Maybe we'll catch it on the way back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guessing water just comes down from the sky and there's like lightning and stuff. Say what you will about Vegas, but I love theming. I just like living in, you know, created worlds. Is that stupid? It's a little bit strange. We have to like leave the shopping center to go to the restaurant. It's on the outside. The nice 100 degree weather today. <laughs> is that guy right there the Nacho Daddy? I think it is. I'm not sure if I would hit, I trust him to be my daddy. I don't know what is supposed to be living in here. There's a little habitat. So we were gonna eat out on the patio, but like we got this whole corner of the restaurant to ourselves. It's like nobody here. Hopefully it stays like this. Yeah. Cause uh, this is the first time we'll be eating indoors in like six months, yeah. so. Just like other places, they have a QR code on the table that you scan to get the menu. So I'm looking at the menu, it seems that they were voted best margaritas in Las Vegas 2014 to 2019. What happened to 2020 is the question. <laughs> <laughs> a pandemic happened, Peter. <laughs> and, and you can order by the glass or by the pitcher. That's dangerous. There's so many delicious looking margaritas. They have a Mexican candy margarita, a pineapple mint margarita, daddy's margarita, spicy cucumber. Wow, there's way more of an option than, <laughs> than I was anticipating. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I haven't even had my coffee yet. <laughs> Vegas, baby. Yeah, Vegas, baby. They're also apparently the home of the original scorpion shot. What is a scorpion shot? It says, feeling brave, do you think you can survive a shot with a scorpion? We dare you. It's no. $20, has tequila in no. it, and comes with a complimentary souvenir shot glass. Don't do it. Does it actually have a scorpion in it? Yes. It does? I'm guessing. Wow. Peter. I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it for a second. I was like, do it for the vlog? No. <laughs> I mean, that would make a good video. No, not happening. Maybe after we drink our first round of margaritas, we'll be more confident. <laughs> yeah. For my drink, I decided to get the spicy cucumber margarita. It has silver tequila, fresh jalapenos, muddled cucumber, house-made sweet and sour with a Mexican seasoned rim. And you can order this by the glass or by the pitcher. I'm not sure if you can tell how big this is, but it barely, <laughs> oh, man. it makes me look like Baby Yoda, like drinking his, like that's how big this <laughs> bowl is, right? I don't know who could finish a whole pitcher of it, but someone might even call me a connoisseur Peter? of spicy margaritas. Okay, so. that's true, I'll let that one slide. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, that has a kick. This is good. Very much just like a normal margarita sweet and sour, like taste to it, that lime. Just a little bit of the cucumber taste, but that kick like punches you in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect way to start off a Vegas morning. <laughs> I like this, five out of five Peters. Wow. Yeah, this is really good. Yours looks good too. I want to see what you think, like what is even that on the rib? I think it's just salt, right? <laughs> but like, can you see this? It's like, I mean, I guess we should have expected this. This place is known for their margaritas, so I would expect none the less. Yeah. Can you even tell? Like, this is the thickest, most chunkiest salt I've ever seen in my entire life. It's salt. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? It's salt. Oh my God, it's like, Punching my jaw. I got the pineapple mint margarita. This has silver tequila, pineapple juice, mint, housemade sweet and sour, and apparently a bunch of salt. <laughs> yeah. Mmm. Tastes like fresh pineapple juice. It's like a very, very small hint of mint. I could barely taste it, but it's just so refreshing. Like it literally tastes like I'm drinking juice for breakfast. <laughs> I don't really taste the tequila. This gets a five out of five. This is really delicious. I'm so happy we came here. Yeah. Good find, Peter. Do you see why these Cheers. were voted best margarita in Vegas? Yeah, they're amazing. Like, 
It's. By the way, who voted it? I don't know. But... I voted it for 2020. <laughs> You wanna hold him? You wanna hold him? <laughs> oh, no, 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 it's okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. You know, I was originally gonna order this as an appetizer, and then the server was like, no, that's a whole meal for like multiple people. So <laughs> we ended up getting this as our meal. But first, I'm gonna try Kitra's pineapple margarita. Oh my god. Five out of five Peters, Ordinary Adventure Star. <laughs> this is so good. They have so many different versions of nachos here. I was honestly pretty shocked. Everything you could ever dream of. We went pretty basic. We got the filet mignon nachos. Yeah, it's one of daddy's favorites. So we had to get like the thing that they recommend. We had to, we had to get nacho daddy's favorites. I mean, what would we be if we didn't get that? So these filet mignon nachos have grilled filet mignon, refried beans, cheddar and jack cheese, ranchero sauce, sour cream, pico de gallo, guacamole, cilantro on top of their house-made corn chips. It uh, looks so huge. I'm not sure if people can tell <laughs> how big that is. I, some might say that I'm, an, I'm a nacho connoisseur. I love nachos and I feel like I rarely get to eat them. So I'm very excited. I need to get a bite with like the steak. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh no. One nut. <laughs> what was that movie where it's like, does this count as one nacho and it's like the whole thing? So they're all stuck together. <laughs> oh my god, what movie is that? I don't remember. Dude, if you get the nachos stuck together, that's one nacho. <laughs> these are delicious. The filet mignon is very, very tasty. All these flavors go so well together. I mean, it just tastes like a really good plate of nachos. I think we're gonna be pleasantly full by the end of this. I mean, you're the connoisseur, so how many Ketros does it get? Four and a half out of five. Wow, it doesn't get the full five. It's not quite the five. It is a little like mushy with like these refried beans, so that's what I'm gonna knock a few points off for. But besides that, it tastes really good. She just doesn't like it because she's not Vegas born and raised. You're not, not my daddy, okay? Don't, this is my nacho daddy. I don't even know. I don't even know what I meant by that. I'm not drunk, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Try them. Where do you even go in? I don't even, I don't know. This is tough. Okay, uh, ooh. <laughs> Where do I? Oh, look at that. Oh my God. I got a lot of Peter. stuff on there. Am I gonna be able to fit that in my mouth? I don't know, I don't think so. Oh my God, what, <laughs> why? <laughs> This is good. I think I ate some jalapenos there because it was spicy. Oh no. <laughs> the bit I, no, I like it. It's good spice. And then to top that spice off, I'm gonna get some of my spicy margarita. <laughs> my mouth is gonna be on fire all morning. That's gonna be great. No, everything you said. The, the steak is tender. The, I guess, yeah. The only thing I can dock this off for is it is a little, messy with those beans, it's a little soggy. But other than that, this is a fantastic nacho. I'd give it 4.5 out of five Peters. Oh, man. So we're in agreement here. Not mm. quite an ordinary adventure star. It's like ordinary adventure star with one, you know, one of its star arms is like ripped off and there's blood squirting out of it. Okay, no, no? Peter. Okay. Okay. okay, yeah, sure. What is more risky, Kitra eating a jalapeno or Kitra doing the scorpion shot. Oh, we need to get Kitra to do the scorpion shot. <laughs> it's never happening. I'll pay you $100. Oh, God, so, far. so good, thank Does you. Does the scorpion shot actually have a scorpion in it? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh. It's a real scorpion, but it's dead. And then we cut Are you supposed to like drink it, like the scorpion? Like chew it and then drink it with the shot. 
so we just found out that the scorpion shot it is a real scorpion and you're supposed to like chew on it as you like take your shot <laughs> how do you get a scorpion that small i thought scorpions were like big i don't know is it like a baby that makes me sad mm. today i'm being very brave because i i like jalapenos but they are really spicy to me so i put a teeny tiny one on here and i'm gonna yeah she got the smallest one that was that was on Should I do here. a bigger one yes this is insane. And it's a fresh jalapeno. Who does this? I did. The other day I was chopping jalapenos and I got jalapeno juice up my nose. Oh yeah, you were in pain for Like me. all night. How did I get it up there? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that spicy? It is, okay, here it comes. <laughs> Okay. I don't think I need another one, but I'm proud of myself for being brave. Ooh, yeah, there it is. I'm, I'm proud of you too. I'm having flashbacks to when I got it up my nose. Yeah, now it's getting like really soggy, so it's just better left just getting on a fork, right? So we've pretty much decimated these nachos. Should we get dessert? Yeah? I was like looking up at the, the rafters and they have like these columns and there's like these spikes on top of it. And I was like wondering why do they have spikes on top of that? I guess it's probably for the birds because normally like these probably are open and I guess birds could come in here and like sit on those, those columns. One margarita was not enough. So I had to get another one. This one is the white peach margarita. This has silver tequila, peach schnapps, white peach puree, and housemate sweet and sour. And it looks beautiful, right? Yeah. I mean, it looks super girly, but I, I'm totally man enough to, all I do is drink girl drinks, so. <laughs> oh, that's good. It tastes like, like a peach candy or something. Margaritas here are good. You know, they're underrated. Someone should give them an award. They've been here since 2010. No one has awarded their margaritas. They're so amazing. Let's get five on five, Peters. We ended up getting the churro sundae. It is just cinnamon sugar churro topped with chocolate raspberry caramel sauce with ice cream, with whipped cream and cherries. Don't see any cherries, but that's okay. <laughs> to be honest, like, I don't know. Just like two little tiny churros. I was expecting something like more like epic. It's okay. I'm happy to be eating it. It tastes good, but these churros are a little like overcooked and like hard as a rock. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then I mean, it's just vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. How's that tasting for you guys? Good, thank you. You see how Kitra just lied and said it was good, even though she didn't like it? Fine, it's just <laughs> not what I was expecting. I say skip this if you're coming here. Probably gets like a three out of five. Yeah, maybe skip this. You know, get another order of nachos instead. <laughs> or maybe another margarita. No regrets. Just notice that their motto here is never a dry chip. I mean, that's a good motto. That's a motto to live by. It is, it is the truth. There was not a dry chip on that plate. We devoured everything. $5 for all lunch items. What a deal. We should have went there. We missed the rain show by 18 minutes. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> we really tried to plan it better, but those margaritas were just too good. <laughs> it's still kind of dripping, right? <laughs> My favorite New York pizza joint, Sabaro. When you're, when you're looking for a good New York slice of pizza, Sabaro. <laughs> what? I see some stuff we need in the store. What don't we have? We have dogs and teacups. I mean, because they're teacups. Dogs, right? Yeah, and then look, puppies. even bigger, even bigger cups. <laughs> oh my god. We don't, I, we gotta keep walking. I was like looking in places like this because they have like all sorts of like 
signed memorabilia for way too much money. Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, and Peter Mayhew. They signed this. Look at the beautiful like matting job. Wow. And has a saber there. Everything, everything is half off. Everything's half off. Everything with his signature is half off. So, so I, I, I was going to complain that this is way overpriced. This is $11,999.99. But you know what? It is only $5,999.98. And it comes with a lightsaber. Look at this Back to the Future shadow box display. It has a Michael J. Fox signed DeLorean. And also the Nike Air Mag signed by Michael J. Fox. I think they're that's three thousand dollars and that's twenty five that's I don't know, that's insane. I thought it was like one whole like package, but I guess this is a display. Okay, this is actually cool. This is Drew Struzan's three Back to the Future pieces of poster art and signed by Drew. And it's also signed by the stars of the movie. But it's five thousand dollars before discount all right i found one that i need <sighs> remember game of thrones john snow he's already like he's already on sale for 12.50 half yeah. of that that's not bad that's because everybody saw that finale that final season spoiler alert <laughs> oh this is neat mike it's a mike tyson signed punch out screen and has an nes controller and screenshots from the game in there that's so cool that game is so hard i had the cheat code that i could get up to mike tyson and i would like always lose. that said king hippo he was a chump I, I took him down every single time <laughs> so i know that that autograph store was like really overpriced but all we have to do is go gamble and then we'll make that money <laughs> and then we could come back and buy whatever we want we're not gonna do that. That was just a joke. I, I you guys, think a I'm lot of just people, joking. That's serious I know. Plan. I know. Because I mean, who else? How do you have that kind of money to be? I don't know. I'm just joking. We're not gonna go gamble. We're being responsible. We're drinking iced coffee. Whoa. Wait a second. We're not in Vegas. What happened? We're back home. Future Peter and Ketra here. We shot so much footage in Vegas. Too much footage in Vegas. Our second day. We're gonna have to split it in two. So you're gonna see the second part of our second day in Vegas later this week. Yeah, but stay tuned because it was just as fun as the first part of our day. We went to go watch Tenet in a movie theater. Yeah, first time in like six months. Yeah, and we also went to go play top golf, which was pretty fun. If you thought me as a handyman, like screwing in screws in the wall was bad, watch until you see my <laughs> golf stroke. So yeah, if, if you haven't seen the previous videos in our Vegas trip, we'll put them right over there. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the next, next adventure. adventure.